Yeah, it didn't focus right away, but it's focused now. Okay. You won. Fourteen twenty-eight. You finished. Look at that. It's a zoomed. Finish. <laughs> Yay. I'm going to keep filming. Five girls in front of me. All the girls in the race finished one, two, three, four, five, and then the men finished. And I was second, and I think there was only 11 of us. So, but finally got an award for ultra, the first time ever. Two months to the day that I came to Colorado. Yay! Okay. So, yesterday I ran the Boulder 100 kilometer race as part of a uh, series of races. There was a 24 hour race going on yesterday, a 100 mile, 100K, a like relay, 100 mile relay, 100K relay. There's all this stuff going on and I just ran the 100K solo. And this is where I set up my stuff yesterday. Um, and was, um, didn't like, I didn't have any, I didn't have a Garmin, I didn't have a watch. Uh, I'm, I'm losing everything. I didn't have an iPhone, didn't have, I mean, music, uh, nothing, and didn't tape my feet. Um, just came out here and just started running um, when when they started at 9 a.m. And uh, this part right here is like a road as we go out, and then then it goes across like two dams, and then up across the other side of the lake, and it's all uh, rock trail like this. Um, so anyway, yesterday, I mean. I don't remember too much because well one I didn't have a watch and it kind of didn't like know where I was uh, except the day I just kept going and going and uh, I mean it went all right I think I bonked at like 17 miles for like a couple miles and then I got going again went for another 20 miles bonked I think at like 41 <laughs> and then bonked again and, and, and again about 60 uh, but all between that and even after 60 like I still running I mean just just jogging but still running and finish the race um, 14 hours and 27 minutes feel all right now yeah oh, I, um, I found I had one uh, blister under my foot um, other than that I mean nothing nothing hard nothing bad happened uh, very surprised because I didn't um, I haven't trained. I haven't run over. I, mean, I think I've. I mean, I've done quite a few six miles, but I don't think I really ran over that. I've ran uh, like some 14 miles back in August, <laughs> and here it's October. Um, and then I did the U Rock 100K, which is the shirt. Sorry, it's not. I didn't do 100K. I did U Rock 46 miles and and about 12 hours um, two weeks ago. But that was more hiking, and that was up way up towards the mountains and. Vale and Breckenridge and all that. Anyway, so not only did I get a finisher medal, 100 kilometer finisher, finally I got a finishing medal, 
but I also got the second place male finish. Um, oh yeah, and that's another thing. Um, I was I was leading for about 20 miles yesterday. Um, don't really know why. <laughs> I was like, uh, right, I don't think this should be happening. But um, I ended up for the race. There's five women in the race. The five women placed first through fifth, and then the men placed. It's just the most bizarre thing. Um, I don't think that's ever happened before in a race. Um, so, and then there's some guys out here still doing the 100 mile. I am so glad I did not do 100 miles. Um, Jeremy Ebel, he won the 100 mile, I think in about 16 and a half hours. Last night, um, after it went dark, um, I started getting um, a lot of mildew. Like, I, just something I never even thought of, but I had like all my stuff set up and like clothes and everything and jackets and and the, uh, not the tent, but the, um, I had a, I had a mat on the, on the ground. Everything started getting soaked from the dew, and then it all turned to ice. I mean, that's how cold it was. It, um, it was there was ice on the on the stuff. So uh, just kind of something else, part of the race. Also, um, my friend Ellen, who I met, or yeah, Ellen, sorry, who I met uh, a couple weeks ago training for U Rock, came out here because she lives nearby and paced me for the last 14 miles, last two laps, and I was like so 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 happy because. Um, just been going all day, hadn't talked to anybody, hadn't heard any music, hadn't done nothing, just was riding, and then, so that kind of helped make things go by uh, better and quicker, and I did do the last 14 of it quicker than the previous, like, 30, so I'm very thankful to Ellen for that, and, oh, yeah, 1427, I think I already said that, 1427 for 100K, which is the quickest I've ever done it, and everything above 35 miles, I think was the quickest I've ever done it. So um, at 11 hours, I'd done 50 miles. And that's a PB by an hour. I was I was five miles an hour for the first nine, eight, eight or nine hours. And then after that, it slowed down. Um, but ooh, still not bad. Anyways, I'm gonna get driving home. I have two hours to drive home. And that was another thing. Like I drove here in the morning for the race um, the night before. I didn't even know if I was gonna race it or not. Um, so I just came out and did it, and glad I did. Yay. Finally got a medal. Welcome to my morning drive to work. I have about uh, 60 miles or an hour and like half to go depending on traffic. But this is how it starts out. This is awesome, it's like 6.45 in the morning. Sun's coming up. Orange glow in my face. It's pretty nice. I just ran about six or so, uh, actually six and a half miles with a guy named Mike, who's a pretty good ultra runner, and was showing me around the trails and popped popped in my house at uh, like 4:40 in the morning. I was like, uh, so anyway, so yeah, uh, pretty good start to the day. And Set filming again. It's showing up on this uh, camera with like more blue, but in real, like from what I'm seeing, it's extremely orange. Uh, looks like fire. I mean, fire in the sky. So it's really nice, and I'm sure everybody's loving it right now. Getting ready to go into the interstate. I-25. Let's go north for. Uh, like I said we're going 60 miles to Golden, Colorado. Go around Denver.